I used to struggle with creating content on the internet. No matter how hard I tried, it seemed like I could never get on top of it. I would watch other creators, both big and small, seemingly churning out content without issue on a regular basis, and I could never figure out why I couldn't quite keep up. So to fix this problem, I originally vowed that I would post five YouTube videos every week. I would post one YouTube video, a vlog, every weekday. And I did this for like eight or nine months. And while this was a good exercise in building my creator muscles, it didn't solve the problem of me feeling like I was constantly playing catch up to create content on a daily basis. Always having that feeling of, oh no, I haven't posted anything today. I have to come up with something right now. But everything changed when I figured out how to create a set of systems to make my content rather than trying to create content in real time. So this is my playbook. Here are five tips to help you create content on autopilot. I hope it helps. Now, before we dig into this, if you want to learn more about how to create content, how to grow your audience and how to market your music and grow online, join the Monday Marketer. The Monday Marketer is a weekly email that I send out every Monday morning with one actionable music marketing tip to help you grow as an artist. If you want to join the Monday Marketer, go to TomDupreeTheThird.com and drop in your email address. There is a link in the description of this video. So here we go. Here are five tips that I use to help you create content on autopilot. Number one, set a schedule for creating your content. You have to approach making content on the internet like a part-time job because it is your part-time job. Creating organic content and posting it on the internet is free publicity, and it is the easiest, lowest barrier to entry way to build your audience and expand your reach, not just online, but across the world. What I do is I set aside a specific time every single week to create content for the week and weeks ahead. For me, that's Friday morning. I find that Friday morning is the time when I have the least demand for my time from other people, and so I can sit down and block out the whole morning from 9 a.m. until uh, noon at lunchtime and have a three-hour block where I can really get a lot of content made at, without any distractions and just solely focus on that. No matter what time you pick, pick the same time every week and put it on your calendar and make it a meeting with yourself that you can't miss. That's what I do. It's a little mental hack and it has worked wonders for me. Number two, start with one main idea. It's a lot easier to come up with one idea than it is to come up with 50 ideas. And even though 50 pieces of content might be the goal, getting started with just one is not overwhelming like 50 pieces of content might be. For me, I start every week's worth of content with one main idea. And that main idea is my weekly newsletter, The Monday Marketer. So if you subscribe to The Monday Marketer, this video, in fact, will seem very familiar to you because you've already read about this whole system in that newsletter. Every piece of content that I make that I put out on the internet is a derivative in some form of that original newsletter, The Monday Marketer. So I know that when I sit down to make content every week, all I have to do is come up with this one newsletter and everything else kind of takes care of itself. Now, if writing isn't your thing, if you don't want to put out a newsletter, that can be a song. You can put out a new beat every single week and you can make derivative content off of that. It can be a YouTube video like this one. It can be anything you want it to be, but just start with one main idea and then figure out a way to pull ideas out of that one single idea and it will make your life a lot easier. Number three, create sub content in batches. Instead of trying to figure out how to say a thousand different things, figure out how to say one thing a thousand different ways. This will make your mind a lot clearer and your life a lot easier. So if my cornerstone piece of content is my newsletter, every single piece of derivative content that comes out of that, I sit down and I make at the same time. So I'll write my newsletter, and then I will go forward in making this YouTube video, a podcast that is based off of the newsletter, which happens to just be the audio of this video. I will make all my short form videos based off of that newsletter, all of my posts, all of my tweets. I will pull bits of text for captions, for posts and photos on Instagram, for stories on Instagram and YouTube, uh, for community posts on YouTube. And I will pull it all out of that one main idea all at the same time so that by the end of that session, everything is made and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Tip number four, I schedule everything in advance. I kind of have this unspoken rule with myself wherein if I can't schedule it in advance, I don't really worry about it. Now, yes, I do still post things directly from my phone 
in real time from time to time. For the most part, I would say 99% of the content that I put out on the internet has been created and scheduled in advance so that day of, I can focus my attention on serving my clients through our agency, my students inside of my courses, on answering emails from you guys. I can respond to comments from you guys. I can answer DMs to help people. I mean, the majority of my time, day in, day out, is spent communicating with members of this community, trying to help solve problems, trying to help you guys uh, improve your music marketing. The thing that I like to tell myself and that I like to remember is that for me, creating content is not the full-time job. Yes, there are some people who their full-time job is being a content creator. For me, it's being a problem solver. Creating content is a part-time job for me. So scheduling all of my stuff in advance helps me keep that in its proper place. And then tip number five that I use to create my content on autopilot. I'm always testing new ideas with my audience, with you. I'm always posting something new to see how it will take with my audience. And this is where I get all of my good ideas to then move from testing content into main idea content that I will then use for my newsletter. Once I've created everything and I've scheduled everything, I've batched it all out and I don't have to worry about content on my brain anymore. Now I have the freedom to come up with new thoughts and concepts and ideas off the cuff and then post them off the cuff uh, if I feel like it. Now I usually do this on Twitter or through YouTube's community tab and I'll just throw something up to see if it resonates. If something gets like above average engagement, that's usually a cue to me that it's, uh, you know, it's got some legs and you guys might want to hear more about it. So oftentimes I'll throw out some sort of idea that's just popped into my brain. I'll just post it and see what happens. And if uh, you guys respond to it, then I know that this idea is worth pursuing and maybe I should flesh it out in uh, more detail, turn it into a newsletter for the Monday Marketer, and then send it down that content strategy where I make a bunch of short forms, some posts, tweets, YouTube videos, and everything else based off of that one idea that has already been proven to sort of be of interest to you guys. So building an automated content machine like this, let's call it, can definitely seem overwhelming at first. I'm sure that having watched this video, if you're not killing it on the content front like I used to be doing, uh, you'll watch this video and you go, God, this sounds like a lot of work. This sounds impossible. How am I going to get started with this? Well, the way that I got started is I just took it a piece at a time. So just take one platform, one idea and start there. And then eventually you will systematize each thing and you won't have to keep thinking about it. It will become a system and a habit and you can go back to doing the thing that you want to be doing, which is probably making music or uh, spending your time however you want to be spending it. But the main thing is this, if you can put forth the effort and create these systems, your time and your mind will thank you. I promise you. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this, uh, please let me know in the comments section. If you have additional things that you like to use when creating your content, let me know in the comments as well. If you have questions about this, let me know in the comments. And if you don't subscribe to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And at the end here, I've got a couple more videos you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.